Joining me is uh, the hot LSU quarterback, Danny Etling, over 300 yards passing tonight. I mean, this uh, it just seemed like everything was working. Yeah, I think uh, we did a good job of the coaches in a short week putting together a great game plan for us and the receivers and, and tight ends and everyone getting involved in the game and, and getting open on their one-on-one -on -one matchups. And I think Coach did a great job of, of calling the game and putting us in a position to make some plays. You know, they talk about players being in the zone. I mean, this had to be as close to that as you've had this year. Uh, yeah, I think uh, it was nice to, to kind of get some, some throws in and getting a nice rhythm of uh, passing the ball. And, you know, I think uh, once we started getting those guys some touches, uh, they started making some big-time plays for us. Hard to tell, chicken or the egg, did the run open up the pass or did the pass open up the run? Didn't matter. They both were going tonight. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we uh, That was our game plan, and, you know, we were trying to hit a big play in both those aspects, and we came in this game plan, and we were able to do that. This team was able to bounce back after that disappointing loss to Alabama, I mean Alabama and to Florida, and it looked like the two best games you guys have played were on the road against Arkansas and A&M. I mean, what does that say about this club? I think it's a, it's a testament to the guys on the team and the coaching staff, and, and you know they get us ready to play after those tough losses and fight through that adversity. And you know that's a tough thing to do, and it's a tough thing to develop. So uh, the fact that you know the coaching staff has been able to, to get us to do that, and that the players have been able to respond, has been big for us. Now that the season's over, the next few days will obviously turn its attention to the coach and search and do you guys talk about that uh, you know how much is that bannered about in that locker room uh you know it, it's here and there but we're so busy especially after this week when it was a short week we didn't have any time to kind of talk about any of that stuff and i think i think everyone on the team though loves coach o and uh that's uh you know you, you you'll find that he has a relationship with everyone on the team and they all feel comfortable around him and, and love him as our head coach you came here to play for coach miles you found yourself playing for coach ogeron what was it what has it been like for you and what is it that he's done so well in your opinion uh he's done a great job of, of energizing the team and uh you know with such a circus of a season uh, he's done a great job of just you know maintaining our composure and and getting us to to play at a high level and uh, you know, Coach O and I were, were together at scout team last year, so I spent a lot more, probably more time with him than I had uh, a lot of the offensive coaches, so it's, it's been good. Well, now Thanksgiving, uh, you didn't get to have one. What, what are your plans? Uh, this was a pretty fun Thanksgiving, actually, so uh, I always play football on Thanksgiving, and this was, a, this was just another episode of that. Well, congrats on an outstanding performance, and enjoy the, the brief holiday and getting back to work for a bowl game. Will do. Thank you very much. All right, Danny Etling, today's uh, winning quarterback. Let's go back to Louisiana Cat Studios.